my sister-in-law, like, you know, Bean's mom. Her name is Emily. I feel like I never refer to her by her name, but her name is Emily. Um, they just moved into a new house, so we're all going over there on Sunday because Bean's birthday is on Sunday. She's gonna be seven, y'all. Like, how is she seven? She's like seven going on like 17 she's she's extra grown so we're gonna go over there for her birthday i wanted to make them like a cute little housewarming gift like you know welcome to your new home so i got this basket from target they had tons and tons of baskets i like this one because it's like super sturdy i feel like it'll last a long time because obviously the basket is a gift too this is everything that i got to go in the basket a flashlight some super glue some hand soap dish sponge some batteries they also got a new pup so i got them a little dog toy a nice bougie candle i got them some flex seal tape like wooden like kitchen utensils i just love how these look some dish towels some, like actual towels because she doesn't use paper towels and i got this spot remover this is from amazon and this is like the best spot remover for anything it's not just a carpet remover you can use it on furniture clothes basically anything and it takes everything out a little first aid kit just to have in the house i also got these little bowls but they came packaged really weird so i unpacked them all and i'm just gonna try to set them in like so but they're just like little like snack bowls you know so i'm gonna put these in there as well hopefully it all fits <laughs> I think the goal of the gift basket is to see everything without taking it out you know like bam you can see it all i don't know if we're going to accomplish that but we'll try i gotta take it all out and start over <laughs> This is as good as it's gonna get. I've taken it out four or five times. I just maybe think it's a little, it's a little full. It's a little full, but I feel like, you know, they'll get the gist. <laughs> naked i have on a bathing suit because i'm gonna do a little at home laser hair removal and i told you guys when i did my legs that whenever i started on my underarms i would do it with you guys so i've done one already my camera i couldn't find it anywhere so i was like i gotta start but i'm on my second round today i do it once a week and i always put on a bathing suit when i have to do um at home laser hair removal because uh you gotta get this from hard to reach places and i don't want to be standing here naked even though i'm home alone but like what if somebody knocked on the door what if a fire broke out what if a zombie apocalypse happened and i'm standing here naked doing at home laser hair removal so i like to be prepared so i'm gonna do a little prep on my underarms first one i'm going to shave them a little bit and i'm going to scrub them because as you can see my underarms are stained blue because i had on a urban outfitters t-shirt and i don't know why but those urban outfitter t-shirts love to stain your armpits i'm only scrubbing the blue off for you guys like if i was here by myself i wouldn't I wouldn't care but do we really want blue armpits no no more blue and then I like to shave the area, make sure we don't got no hairs. So the laser hair removal device I'm going to be using is from Kenzie. This guy is super easy to use. I love it because it will not fire unless it knows it's in contact with your skin. So I'm just going to plug it in. A little light pops on in the back. Mine, something spilled on it and it has like some weird texture. So ignore that. Yours won't look like that. It still works fine. I just, I don't know, it's like soap or something got like stuck to it. This is your power button back here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. You will see your lights turn on here, and you'll hear it. So you can go from 1 to 5. 5 is going to give you the best results. It's on 2 right now. My underarms are pretty strong, so I'm going to crank this guy all the way up to 5. And then it won't fire unless it's touching skin. Boom. Easy peasy. Push it. And then you're just moving it up. I'm trying to hit all the places that the hair grows. So I push it in pretty good just to make sure it's firing. The five, you feel five, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't hurt, it's just like a little fire. 
like a little zap. If you're not used to it, that zap will get you the first time if you crank it all the way up to five and don't kind of work your way up. But other than that, like it's not painful at all. I've done my legs, I've done my bikini line with it. I'm doing my armpits now. And I know some people do their like lip and their face. You gotta work, I gotta work, I gotta build myself up to this. So yeah, I love my Kenzie. I told you guys in my original video that I was really skeptical when I first tried it because I was like, is this really gonna work? And it really worked. It's really cost effective. It saved me a lot of time because I'm not shaving so much in the shower. I will have a discount code in the bottom bar for you guys if you want to click on the link. It'll take you straight to it. Or you can just go to the Kenzie website, which is K-E-N-Z-Z-I dot com, and you can put your discount code in there. This is the IPL handset. Now I have more time in the shower to have concerts, to finish arguments I started four years ago. The real important things we do in the shower. <laughs> this is my second underneath my arm. My legs are done. I just hit them randomly, like whenever I feel like it, like whenever I bust it out, I just do my legs. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bikini line. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when we're making coffee. A few moments later so it's about 10 o'clock right I want to run some errands today I want to go to Target to see if there's any cute like Christmas decor out and about it's November 2nd Merry Christmas I'm just kidding I was gonna yell it and be like who puts this much coffee back in the fridge but this was definitely me yesterday I was like oh I'm, I'll top off my coffee later in the night I didn't do it we need to go to Joann's we need to go to PetSmart, other random places. I think I'm gonna put my Christmas tree out here this year because there's no furniture or anything out there. Um, so I think I'm gonna push like my little thing, that wood thing, I'm gonna push it down and I think I'm gonna put the tree in the corner, but I'm not sure because the Christmas tree might not fit in this room because this room's ceilings are lower than the living room ceilings. The living room ceilings are like, I don't know, it's vaulted so it's higher out there. This one, I believe, is only eight feet. And I think our Christmas tree is eight feet tall. So, I don't know. I feel like one year I bought a small Christmas tree and I had it in the TV room and I can't find that Christmas tree anywhere. Like, I would like to put up the small Christmas tree and save the big one for next year, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna drink a little bit of this coffee and then I will see you guys in the car. I didn't know I got lotion in here. Girl, Ashy. Okay. GTG. So let's go. My car is running away. I got to Target in like two minutes. Like, what? How? How the hell? There's not a soul out here. I bet they're all at Costco though. Jeremy is always trying to go on Costco like he loves Costco. I'm like sir. There is two of us There is no need for us to be in Costco. Okay. Um, okay, Martha May Huvier We're gonna pull pin and uh, see what they got up in here We ready to go Well, shit. Too early for Target Christmas decor. They were setting it all up. The only thing that was out was like, like where all like the Joanna Gaines and Studio McGee stuff is. Um, cute. There was only one, so I was like, I'm taking that. I got like a Merry Christmas sign. All the actual Christmas stuff, they were putting out like legit nothing was out. Nice people today. Oh, I think I just whipped out in front of a cop. <laughs> Sorry. Camera, stay put. We are heading to Joanne's now. I'm just gonna grab some fabric, and then I think that's all I had to do. It only took me an hour to do all my errands, and then I gotta go home and pay some bills. So I will see y'all at the house. Three hours later.
so it's Monday. And we currently have no power. All of our lights were flickering this morning. Like literally any single light that was on in the house was flickering. And then I was going to get coffee and I opened the fridge and the fridge lights were flickering and then all the power went off. And the power has been off for hours now. I was looking up like what does it mean when lights are flickering like your whole house not just like one light and it said that something could be wrong with your electrical box or something like that and hopefully they send somebody out here to you know hopefully get our power back on fingers crossed um but they said it probably wouldn't be back on till tonight and it's already been off for like at least three hours so Jeremy just went to Publix to grab a sub Orange is loving it because I've just been laying out in the empty living room with him on the ground because I don't know what else to do. So I was just sitting outside trying to look if there was like a power person coming because usually they come pretty quick. But I feel like that's when, you know, more than just like one house is out. They were like, oh, it's just it's just the one people we will just we'll get to them when we can. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That's all we can do, right? So it's about 4.30 now. The last time I talked to you guys, it was like 11 in the morning. We still don't have any power. We got a little nervous because when the power first went out, it said that only our power was out. But I guess it was like seven people, so it just made me feel grateful that it wasn't just our house because I was like, oh great. So the power people were outside for a little bit. Jeremy talked to one of them and he said that one of the power lines had burned out or great or something like that. He said that the guy seemed like he was in a rush, but he didn't want to mess with him. And like I said, they were out there for a little bit, but now they're gone. And it says that our power should be back on by 6.30. I also just found out that I'm doing a segment tomorrow on the Tamron Hall show. I mean, I knew I was doing it, but I didn't know it was going to be like live and I thought it was gonna be pre-taped and I thought I didn't know it was tomorrow so I just found out I'm like well thank god it wasn't today <sighs> yeah I'm feeling a little anxious about that things like this always make me anxious anytime I have to do like a conference call or anytime I have to call anybody in general I get really nervous and tell me how I used to be like a telemarketer a little telemarketer secret I used to work for this place called Suntasia which like everybody worked at um, like right out of high school it was a huge office and there were so many telemarketers and the way that it used to work is like the name would just pop up on your screen and it would auto dial in your headset and I didn't want to talk to the people so I would just always ask for somebody else so like say the name was John Smith I would ask for Angie Rodriguez and they'd be like uh wrong number I'd be like oops sorry click and then the end of the week would roll around and my boss would be like why do you have so many wrong number calls and I'm like I don't know I guess you guys just got to do a better job sourcing phone numbers <laughs> Maybe my anxiety started working at the telemarketing agency, but I just hate talking on the phone. I hate conference calls. I just, I'm, I'm very nervous for tomorrow, okay? I'm very nervous. I'm just gonna sit here in silence until the electricity comes back on. Good morning. So it's about 9.45. I'm having my coffee and our power came back yesterday super late in the day. So I need to go put you guys on the charger. So I had to memorize all this last night. So, um, yeah, I think I got it pretty much memorized. So usually to memorize stuff, I just write it down. So I did write this down a few times so that I could remember it. It is a live segment, but I'm just pre-recording it. So I have to go, I have to be ready by 12 and it's going to be a Skype call. So I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on. I'm going to keep it nice and fresh, but I got to do something to this hair because it's looking absolutely crazy. So I'm going to drink this coffee, get my life together and run through the script, even though I feel like I said it to myself a hundred times last night while I was going to sleep. So hopefully, hopefully uh, I remember it all when it's like time to actually say it. Cause I feel like sometimes I can remember stuff and then when like actually comes down to it, I'm like, what was I supposed to say? <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna prep this face. I'm gonna do just like a light makeup, but I do gotta put some lashes on cause I just look like a, a freaking thumb right now without them. <laughs> so I'm just doing it via Skype. So I have my little setup here. We are legit stacked up on boxes, old school. I just did my little run through. I'm a bit nervous just because I don't wanna talk super fast. And when I'm nervous, I talk super fast. So I'm gonna try to just breathe. Um, I have about 30 minutes. I just did a little run through with one of the producers. He said it was great. I did great. I'm still feeling nervous, so I'm charging up my AirPods because they said to put those in, and yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Small, affordable, and really easy to use. And then after your pour 
pores are cleared and your skin is softened, your serums and moisturizers can now easily penetrate and further benefit your skin. My next multitasking favorite is from Garnier Green Labs. This is their serum cream. This is actually three products in one bottle. It's your moisturizer, it's your serum, it's an SPF of 30. So this is perfect for busy moms like you, Madison, who are really looking to simplify their skincare routine. Each serum combines one superfood and one dermatological ingredient and can help you to achieve healthier, glowing skin in one week. Plus, it's clean and vegan. And then lastly is a beauty roller for the face. The one that I have here is metal, but they do come in jade and other precious stones. This tool is great at reducing puffiness. It's going to help soften fine lines. And the gentle rolling pressure really helps to stimulate circulation, which is going to leave the facial muscles more relaxed, creating a lifting effect in the face, which leaves you less puffy, more glowy, and it's really just a great way to end any beauty routine. All right, I'm finished. I think I flubbed a little bit. I'm sad. <laughs> I literally like spoke to myself 300 times saying what I need to say. And I meant to say, use this, use the steam after you've cleansed. And I think I said before you cleanse. I only had like a minute to say all that I needed to say. So I'm gonna go get out of this blazer and uh, take my hair out. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I said it as I was like, did I say Garnier Green Lab Serum Cream? I know that's what I was supposed to say, but I don't know if that's what came out. <laughs> I got this light so long ago. It's, it's the coolest light ever. This can change to any color you want. So like if I change the light mode and hit it to this, then we got green, we got red, we got yellow, we got blue. Like you can literally change it to any color you want, which is really cool. But it's literally the heaviest light I've ever moved ever. So I'm gonna struggle bless it back into, actually I might just move it and let Beebs put it back there when he gets home. I was just telling Instagram that I was reading something about anticipatory uh, anxiety where you work yourself up if you have to do anything and it always happens to me like not so much this year because not a lot has been going on but like say I had to go on a brand trip when I have to do conference calls like anything that I have to do that involves me like speaking I get very nervous and I work myself up so much about it and then after I do it I'm like oh that wasn't that bad and then I'm like exhausted like my body from just like being so tense and like my heart rate going so fast I feel like afterwards I'm just like so that's currently how I feel. I'm still speed talking as you can see. So I'm gonna clean up out here and then chill for a sec and then slowly pull out some Christmas decorations. We're not gonna go all out today. I just wanna pull out and kind of go through and see what I'm gonna put out because you know, it's, it's gonna be different this year. We don't have anything really going on out here. I don't know if I'm gonna put the Christmas tree up. So I also got a different Christmas tree, like a more sparse looking one. Our the one that we have is very full and it's very tall. I think it's like eight feet. So it only fits in this room. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna clean up and then I will see you guys in a little bit. You gotta charge anyways. Three hours later. Oh my God, I had you guys charging with the camera on and when I do that, it doesn't charge like it should. I am so sleepy. That's where I'm at. I'm having a Nutri-Grain bar and a Kind Breakfast protein bar. And I haven't pulled out any Christmas decorations. You guys aren't missing out on anything. But what the heck is by the front door? Like, what is this? Oh, it feels so nice. Come out here and try to ground myself. Okay, but first let's make sure there's no neighbors out. Hello, anybody? Come outside and try to ground myself. The people across the street sold their house and it's being completely redone. So there's just construction going all the time. But I try to come outside and put my feet on the ground, you know, get a little of uh, that mother earth energy flowing through. Let me duck down so nobody can see me. I'll just duck down behind my bushes. <laughs> I'm gonna go pull these packages in and see what the f is in this Amazon box because the box is looking large. Oh, it's so nice outside today. Can I order some? from Target that I didn't know. It's not heavy, so that's a good sign. Okay, I'm not gonna spray.
great, you guys. And please tell me that I'm not the only person who will go on their Amazon app and check to see what they ordered instead of just opening the box. No, just me. It's fine. <laughs> so it's about 7.30 and this is as far as I've gotten with the Christmas decorations today. But tomorrow's Wednesday, my dudes, my favorite day, so I feel like I'm really gonna get into it tomorrow. I like to start more in the day, and it just felt really late. I like to do it when it's bright. And since it gets dark at, I don't know, five o'clock or something, it just always feels way later than it really is. So Beep just went to go get us some sushi, and then after we eat, I'll probably just go take off my makeup and we'll get in the bed. <laughs> We're currently watching The Boys on Amazon. It's, re it's really good, but it is crazy. There are some scenes where you're just like, what the f is going on? But I, I would say it's worth watching. Um, I really wanna watch that chess show. I think it's on Amazon. It's either on Amazon or Netflix. I don't remember which one it's on, but it's about the girl that plays chess. So I'm just really trying to get through the boys so that we can move on to that. So if I don't see y'all tonight, I'll see you tomorrow. So I feel like I probably look exactly the same as I did last night, but I just put this shirt back on because it's actually cold. I think it's like 56 out. I woke up with a splitting headache, so I'm a little grumpy. <laughs> um, and I'm waiting for the plumber to get here because something's up with our washing machine. So yeah, I'm just hanging out waiting for the plumber trying to get this headache to subside. I feel like I had a headache last night when I went to sleep and I woke up with a headache. So, a wee bit grumpy. We are getting some Christmas decorations out if it's the last thing I do today. So I'm gonna make a ca a caffey? I'm gonna make a caffey. Somebody that does wanna say hello. Where's your boy? Where's your boy? Where's your boy? Big boy? Big, big boy? Ready to put the Christmas decorations out? Orange. Orange. Mama's baby. <laughs> a lot of times I get questions on like where blue's at. So blue's on a different schedule than orange and fish. Orange and fish kind of sleep at the same time and are awake at the same time. And blue is the exact opposite. So she's probably out there sleeping by the window right now because it's actually a beautiful day i have the windows open basically in the cat room that's basically the cat room out there so she's out there in her tower and these two are always up moving about fish is orange's shadow so wherever orange goes fish goes she also really likes blue but blue she uh blue doesn't really like anybody she barely likes orange and she's lived with orange for nine years so <laughs> hi mommy but we literally only call her fish i don't ever call her luna Unless she's in trouble and then I'll call her Luna. Let's get a taste before this camera dies. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Kisses to the chef. I ate a salad, had some chocolate, now I'm in a better mood. So I'm gonna bust out the new Christmas tree and see what it looks like. <laughs> So I'm gonna send it back. I just feel like it looks so fake. I've always had artificial trees and this one just looks like it's made out of plastic, plastic. So I don't wanna take the time and pull it completely out of the box and then still hate it. Like, look at this. I kept trying to look at it from different angles to see if maybe I liked it from afar, but no. I know that I'll hate it once I put it up. I just know myself too well. So unfortunately, this guy is gonna go back to the store. 
or back to wherever he came from. Sorry, sir, this is not your house. I got a bunch of garland to put greenery around, so I'm gonna open that and hope that I like that garland. <laughs> I think once I fluff it, I'll like it. I'm trying to get it look, to look more realistic. And then I'm gonna add some twinkie, twinkle lights to it as well, which I really thought it had lights in it, but it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, he looks a lot better once I fluffed him all out. He's still not perfectly fluffed. Like you see, there's random ones that need to come out, but he's looking way better than he was. This one had good reviews. I swore it came with lights. This one's a little tangled, which kind of is a bummer because it's in the front, but I'll put something here to block it. Getting places. I'm freaking hungry, man. Now you're freaking hungry. I'm freaking hungry. Oh no. How was your salad? It was good. I don't know how much of this is actually gonna come out this year. Cause I don't have a ton of place to put you guys. I know, don't, don't give me those looks. tucked away in the laundry closet i think one of the cats broke this one year though so i'm gonna rotate the tree so that this like sad branch isn't hanging up front but yay we've got a wee christmas tree <laughs> so a little uh trick that i always do on my christmas trees is i use paper lanterns as the star on top because just to me i like it to be a little bit bigger and a lot of tree toppers are pretty small even though he's a tiny tree i feel like he can handle this guy. So this guy is from World Market, but the one that I had before, which was silver, that one was from Target. So I just pull it like you would hang it. So if you do do this, leave a little bit of room in here so that you can stuff the top of the tree. And I try to get some, some light inside so it will light up. See what I mean? Just a little glow from the top of the star. I think I'm gonna get some more white lights and wrap this a little more, but you can see what I mean. Like there's just a little bit of glow happening. I love it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Pretty girl. <laughs> so I'm putting up the plates right now. I literally just woke up. I put up a test plate last night and I took like this down and had like a sweater here just in case this fell off the wall because the way that I had to attach the little strips is I originally put the strip here but then this like little lip I didn't realize that it was like pushing against the wall so I have the little what is those called command strips like just pushed onto here one so the one the strip that I'm using holds 16 pounds and I mean these are not 16 pounds so yeah I've legit just woken up hi and I'm about to put all these plates on the wall or try I'm gonna see how it goes like I don't know if I want it to go that way I don't know if I want it to go like up around the clock so I don't really have like a set vision in my head but we'll see um I also have a hair trial today for bridal hair she's gonna come here and do my hair which is really nice and that's at one and then after that I want to go get some Christmas ornaments because I do have a little bit of ornaments on this tree but not a lot and I want to get like gold balls this is my favorite Christmas ornament just in case you guys don't know <laughs> but I just have like little random ones on here and then I'm gonna also put the garland out here today so it's gonna come up and around I tried to do it yesterday by myself but it was so heavy like the garland itself was I was like oh I'm not gonna do this and I didn't want to like risk you know knocking the mirror down sir sir we're trying to vlog Wide angle lens makes everything look like it's this king big. <laughs> I love them so much. 
They don't really go in order or anything, but it's fine. We're just gonna pretend you gotta, you gotta go from six to seven. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna add like twinkly lights, but I gotta find white ones because all I can find in my stash is colorful ones. Oh, the floof. Okay? Won't be back, okay? You watch the house. Love allergies. So we're gonna go to Home Goods and pray that there's some green and gold trees. Okay? I don't need a lot. I'm just like three or four. I wanna do the mantle too. Forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna see what they got. Hopefully there's not a lot of people here. Cause it's I was gonna say it's Wednesday my dudes. It is Friday my dudes. Please have some green and gold trees. We're really risking it going to Home Goods this late in the month of November for Christmas decorations because they put the Christmas decorations out at like the end of October. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, we're not trying to have a redo. Y'all saw that vlog. We went flying. I have like this non-slip mat that the camera sits on, but it doesn't do a good job at keeping the bitch in place. Um, why the fuck is it so thick in here? Am I gonna get you? Okay, I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's pray for the best, y'all. So fingers crossed, we got some goods in here. Last time we came, it wasn't pretty. I was in and out, but I don't think we were looking for Christmas decorations last time, right? We were just looking. So, fingers crossed. A few moments later. Okay. Oh, sun's still playing us in here. Small success. I, f I don't, why am I going this way? Oh God, somebody just fell back there. What's happening? So I found one, two, three, four like ceramic -y trees that I usually get and then one little, like it's a fake, it looks like a candle, but it's not a candle. You put a battery in it and it makes it look like flickering. And then I found one big gold nutcracker man. So small successes. Why the did I come this way? What was I thinking? Damn, the mall is looking. Hats? What is that over there? Cheesecake factory? What is that? I feel like I gotta go around and do a drive by and see what that is at the mall. Oh my god, it is a cheesecake factory. What? No, they didn't. Yes, they did. <laughs> okay, let's go. Chill out. I hate when the light is green for one second and people honk. <laughs> oh god, my trees. I wonder if I have any candy in my purse. Light is eight years old. Mambas! Yes, please. opened up so maybe the ones that I the other two that I used were used um is this a reef oh get it baby I put a little command strip right on the mirror so that it could support the weight because I tried to hang it without it and it just it wasn't having it well I know that I told you that this vlog this light would be leaving in the last vlog but the guy that was going to put it up for us I guess he fell and hurt himself poor guy and he said he's done he ain't doing the shit no more he's retired don't call him for nothing <laughs> so we gotta find somebody else to install our new light for us and i feel like it would just be so perfect in here right now i take this little loop and i hook it right onto the 
little guy, the little uh, hook that we got. And then tuck the corner. come out and say good morning to my christmas decorations anybody else anybody else so i ordered like you know little battery electric i have the battery thing like the little pack there but i ordered a really long one so i could like wrap these a lot they'll be here on monday so i'm excited for that i good morning hi i'm gonna whip this down real quick make some tiktoks and then put it back up um, and then kind of talk you guys like a little bit more through like how I decorate so that it'll make more sense to you so you can put like your own spin on it. Santa baby. Dun, 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 dun. So these are the lights that I was talking about from Target, but like look at this big ass plug that it comes with. Like we can we not? The other ones that I got, like I said, are battery operated, which I just think is like more did this say like a plug? Does anybody else get nervous when they untangle these? Like, am I gonna pull you apart or are you gonna survive this? <laughs> so whenever I do TikToks, I have to do a bunch of them. So I'm gonna make a couple of drafts and then we'll get it going here at some point. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna put the garland back up here and wrap it just so I know where the light should be. So I think we have something like this. I like how bright these guys are. So you could just lay it on here, I guess. You know, if you want it to take the easy way out. But I do think it looks better when it's wrapped around the garland. Just hides the wiring better. I feel like it's so hard to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, like it's looking so much better. of YouTube let us listen to Christmas music. <laughs> yes, it's looking so much better. The wrapping takes a little extra time and you know, you're gonna cut your hands a little bit, but way better. Okay, here's a better look at everything that's going out uh, on the display. I feel like when I first start decorating with you guys, like you saw earlier, I'm just in the moment and not really showing you guys. So this is the color scheme. I feel like it, you can see it a little better when they're all close together. So it's the white, green, and gold theme this year. I feel like I usually have a lot of silver and stuff, but I'm very much loving the green. So I like to start in the corners first with the biggest pieces, because once you get your biggest pieces down, then you can just like fill in gaps with littler pieces. Anything that I put out, I wanna make sure that it's not taking away from this. So I wouldn't put something the same height because you wouldn't wanna block that. And then this little guy adds a nice contrast between the green you see, and then we'll stick him right in the middle. So they're all kind of staggered. You can still see them all from all angles, like see themselves. Just a small random edge. Too big for like a tree and too risky for uh, like a snow globe. So we'll stick this cute little guy on the end. Move the tree just a little bit so the nutcracker is not taking away from him. Boom. I'd like to move to the other corner and do the biggest trees that I have for this side, which this year is this gold guy. But he's not my biggest, so he'll be in a little bit. Wait, were you over here, sir? It took me a minute to realize that he was a green. I was happy because he's taller. Stagger these to where the bigger one is a little pushed back further, and this one is a little more to the foreground. And then we'll pop a white tree to go in the mix. And then he lives here. He lights up, so cute. You gotta go a little in. And he's kind of blocking that tree, so we'll just turn him and pull this guy out some. Boom. And then once I have the two 
in pieces how I like them, then we'll start filling in like gaps and stuff like that. These little pedestals that I got, I think they're sold out currently on Amazon, but I, I think you can like pre-order them. They are coming in very handy for Christmas decorations this, look, this year. <laughs> when I decorate, I like to have levels. So we have levels here naturally on its own, but when you wanna show off something like this little wood box, when you have something smaller, it's nice to elevate it a little bit because then he doesn't get lost and he's also a focal point because he's sitting up in the air also cute same on the other side i have this little pedestal one of them's higher than the other and then it's hard to do it with one hand put this beautiful snow globe on top which again just elevates him up into the air so you can see him and then he fills in this like negative space on the wall nicely don't you love when i act like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> Sorry, looking very regal today. And we'll tuck him right in here and pull him a little forward so that he is nice and center. Oh, sir. Did you get cuter? Hmm. There was a gap in the back here, like that little spot right there. So this tiny guy, well, he's not really tiny, but he's not super large. Will fit nicely right in there, that little gap this cute little reindeer in the mix he goes in the mix here we'll push him back uh, okay there I can't see push it back oh, goodness. <laughs> we'll just fill in a gap here and then our last gold Christmas tree will take this little gap here our Christmas scape is done. And since you know we did decorate this a few days ago, you guys saw it, look at my plates. They are thriving on the wall. <laughs> I do have shorts on, they're just very, very short. <laughs> but I came back because I wanted to let you guys know that if you missed out on my dime collab the first time, the sunglasses are finally restocking and they're going to be in stock for Black Friday. Dime is going to be having some insane sales. So yeah, make sure to check out Dime for Black Friday. I don't know how long they'll last, but they definitely will be back by then.